Hi, welcome to the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel. My name is Mike. On this channel, I focus on something that I'm very passionate about, and that's overcoming low vision challenges. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three steps to overcome low vision challenges successfully that you may not be aware of, regardless of your vision problems. We all share the same kind of challenges. So if you're interested in finding out how to best overcome those successfully, then stick around. Check this out. Okay, let's get straight into step one of overcoming low vision challenges successfully. Often easier to say than it is to do. And what I mean by that is a lot of folks just don't want to admit to themselves and others that they have a low vision problem. For whatever reason, they just don't want to come to terms with that. So step one is one, identifying that you do have a vision issue, a low vision problem. Second is, or the second part of that is determining what the cause is. Because millions of Americans and folks around the world experience age-related vision loss. Seems to start around 40 years old for many. Some, it's later than that. But it has to do with the lenses in the eyes. You know, they get a little more rigid. They're not as pliable, so they don't want to zoom in and zoom out. So people have a hard time either seeing distance or close-up. The doctor will say something about bifocals. But... We don't know that until we go and get checked out by a professional eye doctor. Go in, get tested, make sure that if it is age-related, maybe some bifocals will fix it. If it's not age-related, it could very well be some kind of illness. Everybody knows that blood sugars impacts visual acuity. If it's too high, if it's too low, it will adversely affect your eyesight. Likewise, injury. You get a knock on the noggin, you get a concussion, it can have some adverse effects on your eyesight, but that's not the only thing. You know, there are always, you know, the potential for eye injuries, which are pretty self-explanatory. You know, you get a stick in the eye or some kind of debris in the eye, metal shaving or whatever depends on, you know, what you're doing. For instance, for me, I contracted the histovirus. Histoplasmosis affected the macula of my eyes. So the laser therapy that I had to mitigate the histovirus affecting the macula in my eye created scar tissue. So that's kind of like one of those things, well, I got something in my eye. Well, I don't know, but it affected my eye. It was a disease. It was a virus. So we need to identify what our problem is and then identify the cost. That's step one. Step two of overcoming low vision challenges successfully. In step one, we discussed we need to discover what our low vision problems are and what caused them. In step two, we're going to take that a bit further. You need to start with, you know, a plan of action. You need to take action. You need to go to an eye care professional, an eye doctor, have them perform the appropriate examinations that determine what your vision is, what your beauty, vision, visual acuity is, what your field of vision is, if you have any blind spots or color perception issues, that's why you would go and find this stuff out. Color perception issues... It can be corrected a little bit sometimes, sometimes not with different colored, you know, filters on the lenses. Age-related vision loss generally requires some glasses, you know, whether they're just a single lens, you know, a single prescription or a bifocal. Now, just uh, food for thought. Everybody that I've ever spoken to that's had bifocals will tell you the same thing. You, you get to pick whether you want to see up close as best you can or distance best you can. You can have one or the other that are the best 
prescription that will work for you. The other, whether you decide that you want to be able to read up close, you want to be able to read your books and your tablets very well, that will be the strongest prescri prescription. That will be the one that works the best. And the distance viewing will be better than what you have normally, but it won't be as crystal clear as, say, the cl up close vision would be or prescription would be and vice versa. So just, just food for thought. And um, likewise, when you're coming up with a, you know, a single prescription lens, they're going to ask you, you know, do you normally do, what kind of activities do you do? Be honest with them, because if you're not honest with the, with the eye doctor, he can't prescribe the appropriate lens that's going to best suit your needs. So be honest with yourself, be honest with the doctor, so that when you take that action, it'll be the appropriate action for you. Now, moving right along to folks that are going to be diagnosed or have been diagnosed as being legally blind, the conversation is going to go towards, you know, low vision aids. And low vision aids include everything from something as simple as a hand magnifier to some of the more expensive digital type things that you wear on your head, like uh, virtual reality goggles, you know, like the Patriot Viewpoint. These are all great devices. Some work better in one application, not so much in the other application. And I have taken the liberty to put some Amazon links in the description down below of all the low vision devices that I use, still have used in the past, believe in, or I would not recommend them. Now, if you want to follow the links in the description doc box down below, at no cost to you, you can check out and see what the price is currently where you're at. You can also see what availability is. You can read some other the customer reviews if you want to. And if you do, after all that, you decide you want to purchase something after following the links, we will get a small commission for our trouble. So thank you very much for your support. But the important thing is to check them out, see what works best for you, and make sure that you take the advice of your healthcare professional, your eye doctor, etc. So having said that, let's get into step three. Before we get into step three, let me ask you a favor. Please use the comment section down below and let me know what your biggest low vision challenge is. You know, the low vision challenge that you, you want to be successful at overcoming. Won't, won't you, just a quick note in the description box, or not the description box, excuse me, the, the comment section down below. The description box has got some affiliate links in it that I think you'll find useful. So you can check that out as well. In addition to that, please, if you find some benefit in these videos and you like what we're doing, consider giving us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. If you subscribe, you might as well go ahead and hit the notification icon and click the all button. That way you'll be made aware when we post new videos or we have something going on in the comment section, you know, some, some dialogue that you might want to, you know, share your opinion or you may want to pick up something you may want to learn from. So, but now step three, step three is you, you want to embrace the prosthetics replace or embrace the treatments that's been prescribed for you. Now, prosthetic can be anything from a blind person's cane, which I use all the time. I just find it useful, but I'm legally blind. You may have something else that you think is going to be working better for you. And it's just kind of like, you know, you might get a set of uh, bifocals. You, you're one of the folks that suffer from age-related vision loss. You get some bifocals and they just don't quite work right for you or they're inconvenient or you find yourself out in the weather and they want to fog up and they want to just be messed up all the time. For you, you might find that a good pair of inexpensive High quality binoculars works better for you when you're watching the game or you're out bird watching or hunting or whatever you might be doing. You know, when you want to view at a longer distance, say a hundred yards or more, check out the Eschenbach um, binoculars I've got listed in the description box down below. I think they'll help you out and they're nowhere near what I, I, I spent over a thousand dollars before on a pair of Steiners. You don't have to spend that kind of money. Check out the Eschenbachs in addition to the magnifiers and stuff like that. But anyway, my point is when you get your prescriptions and you get your prosthetics, you know, you get whatever device is prescribed for you that you and your healthcare provider or your social worker, your counselor, whomever 
has come up with a plan, use them and practice with them every day, every chance you get. And you will discover that you will outgrow some things. And you'll discover that some things work better for this application and not for that application. That doesn't mean that you can't do it. That just means you find another workaround, another hack, another device. Or, you know, like I said, maybe you don't wear your bifocals when you go outside to go hunting, fishing, or playing golf. They just don't work for you. Maybe you just get a little pair of binoculars so you can look and see where the tee's at, or you can look and see, you know, the ducks on the water or whatever. You might be wanting to watch the ball game or something. Don't give up. Keep pushing forward. Keep doing your best to overcome your low vision challenges. And I promise you, you will succeed. It may not be the way that you thought initially, but you will come up with a way to succeed. Thank you very much for sharing your information with us in the comment section down below. I do appreciate you watching. Again, if you got some benefit from this, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Make sure you hit the notification bell, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.